Well, big dirty head gaskets are friggin pooched. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is uh, get all the AC R134 out of there and, uh, and then we can start tearing her apart. A little antler right there, another one up here. Son of a bitch. Okay, so big dirty's in position to uh, remove the cab. So that's, uh, that's the next project. Oh, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun, let me tell you. I've been uh, been researching researching hardcore to uh, make sure that uh, I do everything correctly and whatnot. And I have a friend who uh, who does this for a living. Uh, you know, works at uh, Ford or whatever. So uh, he's a mechanic there. So we'll get get a hand from him if I need it and stuff. And uh, got a lot of questions about uh, Project Antler, but uh, like I said before, you know, man's got to eat, right? So. Uh, you know, work comes first or whatever, but uh, you know, she's still here, she's out, you know, she's not out in the shipping container or anything, so, you know, she's, uh, I get uh, get reminded of them every day, it's not, uh, not, uh, you know, a lost cause, and I was even thinking about putting the, the, the rear end out of the S10 we scrapped today in this instead, and maybe rigging up some sort of a Johnstone transmission type situation, but look at this, I'm a friggin' goof, man. $2,000 friggin' welder. I dropped the the the, uh, the son of a bitch on the cable. I, I don't know where it is. I crushed the shit out of it somewhere. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna have to replace the whip on my friggin' welder now because this hoist over here, like just a, a little loop of it, you know, just boop, a little loop of it was caught under the edge of the son of a bitch there and, and uh, squished her right down to nothing, just flattened her right out. So, uh, yeah, but I uh, got a couple, uh, since I was going to be ripping apart the truck anyway, I got some goodies here. It's, uh, it's going to be pretty fantastic. Big Dirty's awesome. This will be uh, improved by about uh, 60 billion times uh, with the installation of what's in these boxes. Here, I'll give you a little hint. My phone number's on the, on the thing, so we don't want uh, any other goofs calling me. But uh, look at that. Can you read what that says? Oh crap. I dropped my loss. My loss is just dinked. Oh, look at that. Oh, breaker one line. My loss is just dinked. Oh, look at that. Bag in. Oh, I strained an official lozenge out of my pocket and I dropped it on the floor in the slushy mud. It's a landlord's rig. It's just a dump in the air. Holy shit. So we got rid of the Dodge Stratus and uh, we stuffed it full of almost a whole other car minus the, uh, you know, basically the front clip, the engine transmission and front clip and we took that in on another load. And this is the van we picked up today. Uh, buddy said the engine's uh, damn near new. It was a factory uh, uh, factory replacement engine and but then uh, shortly after that the tranny went so the tranny's dinked I guess it's got reverse but uh, but that's it there's no battery in it but uh, so I can't do the old cold start but uh, apologize apologize oh somebody's on the sagrets yeah sagrets but uh, fired the tires and wheels off of the uh, s10 and the stratus in here or whatever and stuff she got leather interior friggin' tape deck oh we got we found a friggin uh jimmy hendrix friggin uh tape so we might be able to to jam out in here but yeah so i mean i don't know if you know these seats should remove and everything if anybody needs parts for one of these son of a bitches you know she's here she's going for scrap so i'm probably gonna peel the engine out of her and try to sell her up oh, getting a phone call gotta go so this is what we did with the S10 there. We just cut her in half, just drug, drug her half onto the tilt load there and just cut the, cut the S end off her. 
uh, you know, for what it's worth for scrap, I could, you know, use that for a project or friggin' sell it or, you know, it's worth something to somebody, it's worth something to me, you know what I mean? So, but, uh, yeah, somebody's been taking Mike over, got some BX in with the barbecues and stuff, and holy shit, I don't know, friggin' aluminum's all buried in snow, I don't even know if I'm allowed to be back here, to be honest with you. I might get my face punched in for myself, but some goofs friggin' called us saying they got all kinds of scrap and to come and get it in this, this little piddly ass shit from one guy drove all the way to London for, you know, a gazebo little cheap stupid thing and then another guy gave me a bunch of bikes, you know, freaking, oh we got, oh, oh it's heavy as fuck, gazebo man, oh it's all steel and stuff and oh the top of it's heavy and yeah, we drive there and it's tin, but uh, yeah, smash through the gears in the landlord's rig, big time, big time, Trailer's still out here. We won't be coming out tomorrow, but of course there'll still, there'll still be a video. 18 Vans dinked us, us smashing into some cars that weren't supposed to be where they were and ended up clipping the, uh, holy shit, just about lost it. Holy, oh, somebody just about got sued. Holy crap, anyways, uh, dinged into, uh, you know, a car, that one. It was, it's parked where it's not supposed to be, so I, I purposely smashed into it and ended up dinking over the 18 van. Son of a bitch. But that's all right, she just bent the pipe a little, just a little kink. But uh, yeah, we're uh, gonna get Big Dirty going. Uh, as soon as that's done, maybe we'll get more work done on Project Antler unless something else comes up. But uh, you know, we'll have to see. Oh, huh, oh, Padres, well, are you cheating? Neither one ain't cheating. Sons of bitches. Didn't you watch my video last night? <gasps> are you cheating? But yeah, so friggin' oh, I'm excited. Eh? I'm just gonna puke. Puke and shit and piss. Oh, I'm scared. I'm friggin' scared. You guys scared? You scared? Oh, I'm scared. Apologize, big dirty. Son of a bitch. Go suck James Pan Antler! You can come and suck my pan antler, you goof. What is it? Mr. What? Dreadhead from Go Washington. Go suck James Pan Antler! Mr. Dreadhead from Washington, D.C. He's a terrorist on my on my tiny chat. Friggin' thing here. Come get me with these blue eyes, you see him? Come get me, boy. I'm YouTubing. Are you chitching? Yeah, look at this guy. Holy bud, are you rocking out to the max or what, buddy? Make sure your mic's on yeah. when you talk, buddy. Oh, yeah, we got a crew on us on our hands tonight, boys. Let's uh, check these guys out. Uh, yeah, you too. Woo! Uh, them sons of bitches, eh? She's going big time. Thumbs up for uh, one pug life. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, choo chit. Anyways, this was pretty fun. Spent all day friggin' on here, but well, I think she's just about time for bed. We had Al-Qaeda on there, so that wasn't good. So we better get off before we get nuked, eh? Apologize.